These are the sum and difference of cube rules. I think what's important to know is that you're going to see this over and over as you go through math, especially in college, and you really just have to get to the point where you recognize this thing. You have got to recognize it when you see it. So our goal today is just to recognize that what we're seeing here. So let's start with something really simple, and this is x cubed minus 8. And what I'm – so this is a sum and difference of cubes. So this is a difference, isn't it? So what I'm wondering is can you see this this way? Can you see that this is x cubed minus 2 cubed? Because there's a difference of cube. 8 is a perfect cube, isn't it? So the difference of cubes rule says this. If we have a cubed minus b cubed, then we can break that into these two factors, and that's a minus b times a squared – I'm sorry, plus ab plus b b squared. So what that suggests to us is this. If we can take this and recognize that it's that, then we can break it into this, and we can say this is x minus 2 times a squared, so x squared, plus 2 times x, 2x, plus 4, right? b is 4, so 4. All right? So there's our difference of cubes. Similarly, if we do this the other way, let's look at a sum of cubes. If we have sum of cubes, it would look like this. We could take – let's do this. We could take x cubed again. I'm making a pretty easy examples right this second. x cubed plus 64. Now the question is do we recognize that 64 is a perfect cube? And it is. So this is what I'm going to do. First off, did I recognize? Well, first thing that made me think that this might be – yeah, that sounds stupid, but th this might be a cube. Is it? Well, there's a cube right there, and there's only two terms, so I'm thinking I might be able to get this out. So I'm looking at this. I'm saying, okay, well, this is the same as this. I'm just going to translate a little bit and say, you know what? X cubed is X cubed, and 64, 64 is 4 cubed, isn't it? Right? 4 times 4 is 16. 16 times 4 is 64. Yeah, it is. So then I'm going to use the rule for sum of cubes, and the sum of cubes rule – is this. It says that if we have a cubed plus b cubed, then we can break that into these two distinct factors, and it's a plus b – remember the difference had a negative sign here, didn't it? – times a squared plus – whoops, sorry – minus ab plus b squared, okay? So all I'm going to do is apply that rule here. a – this is the value of a here, isn't it? This is a, and this is b, right? And from here, I'm just going to fit the – fill in the blanks. So we said a is x, so x. We said b is 4, so plus 4. Times a squared is x squared, isn't it? Minus – right? 4 times x is 4x, isn't it? And then we're going to square b. b is 4, and 4 squared is positive 16. All right? So this is our sum of cubes. They get a little bit more complicated, but remember, once we figure out this pattern, we can really, really get to this. So let's try this. Um, let's try this one. Factor 216 cubed minus 8. So now I have to admit to you, I'm checking this out. What is it? Oh, oh, I know this one. Okay, good. So now, this is a little bit more difficult, and I admit that it is. First off, I saw the cube. That's what made me look for the pattern, right? Right. We're looking for patterns. We've got to recognize pattern. So we're looking for this pattern. So I see this pattern. Now, I'm not pretending that automatically you're going to see the 216 and know that that happens to be 6 cubed. I hope that – that's 6. It is. Okay. But you have a calculator, and you can do some of this. So this is what I know now. I can trade this whole thing in. This right here, right, is – 6 cubed, and here's my x cubed. Now this is something you have to know. You have to know that exponents are distributive over multiplication because these have similar exponents. I can pull this out and I can say 6x cubed. Why is that true? I said that exponents are distributive over multiplication. That means I can take this and I can distribute it to 6 and get this cube back and the 3 to this and get the x cubed back, all right? Minus – this minus sign is this one. And what I know about 8 is that 8 is equal to 2 cubed, isn't it? So here's my 2, 2 cubed, right? Now I have my
have my A value and my B value. And remember that this is a difference, right? We know that the difference, it, the difference rule is this, A squared plus AB plus B squared, right? So we can just apply that, and it will look like this, won't it? It will be 6X minus 2, minus 2, times A squared. So look at this, 6X squared is equal to 36x squared, isn't it? If you're going, where the hell did that six come, the 36 come from? Because two, because I'm going to take this 2 and I'm going to distribute it into here, aren't I? So 6 squared is this 36. x squared is this x squared here, okay? And it's plus ab. So 6x times 2 is 12x. 12x, right? And then we get b squared at the end, and b squared is just 4, isn't it? Okay, so I think that works out good. You just have to keep practicing, recognize the pattern. Once you do, I, I, think you, I think you have it. I truly do. So keep working on this. I'm proud of you. And if you're not a subscriber yet, please be one. Thank you very much.